Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 138. Upload portal data using the Power Platform CLI. In our last tips, I covered the Power Apps Portal specific commands available as part of the Microsoft Power Platform CLI, and went into details about the download command. In this tip, I'm going to go a bit deeper into the upload command. The upload command accepts two parameters. The path is required and defines where on the local file system the files will be uploaded from. The deployment profile is optional and allows you to specify data that will be different in the target environment. Before using the upload command, ensure your Power Platform CLI is connected to the desired target environment. You can use this command to make changes to the same Dataverse environment as where you downloaded from. This is done when you want to use tools like VS Code to make changes to your portal, instead of modifying Dataverse directly. Or, if you're using this tool to move data between Dataverse environments, then ensure you've switched to the different target environment. Certain portal data should be different between environments. For example, if you use different authentication providers, for example, you may have different Azure AD B2C tenants for dev and production, you don't want all of those site settings deployed to production from development. Deployment profiles are useful in this case. A deployment profile is another YAML file that contains a list of rows and columns that will override the values from the source environment. The file should be created in a deployment-profiles folder, and the name of the file is the name of the profile.deployment.yaml. The file contains a list of tables with rows and columns that you'd like to override. If needed, you can use the OS variable to pull values from the operating system's environment variables. Using the upload and download commands, you can use tools like VS Code to modify your portal and use tools like Azure DevOps to automate your ALM process. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 138 on upload portal data using the Power Platform CLI, useful.